Yo, what is up, guys? It's Menji Gaming here, and yeah, back at a Mass Effect video. We're on the ship of the was it Tempest, and uh, yeah, we're in our we're in our uh, room cabinet. Hello, whatever. Sarah. Eos has been a lesson in contrast. Alec Ryder rarely endured doubt. His accomplishments were taken for granted, but you succeeded on Eos despite doubt and fear. Emotionally, the difference is like catching a ball versus catching a star. You have grown as a result, and so have I. Hmm. Sam, any more information on the memory trigger we found? The memory blocks are still in place. If you continue searching for more triggers, they may unlock. Hmm. What was Dad's take on Scott and I? He believed your family trials brought you closer together and hoped that would endure. It appears that hope was well-founded. Is it confusing to be in multiple places talking to different people? My awareness can be partitioned, so I can give you the same attention as, say, a Sam no technician. In the field, you are my primary focus, and all other requests are queued. In the vernacular, you have my undivided attention. Hmm. All right. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Kind of like Cortana from Halo. <laughs> if y'all got any Halo peoples out there. And oh, that looks like a cake. Just kidding. Oh, wait, what? Trushy jacket. Casual. Oh, you can change the color. That's pretty cool. I don't know why we wore a jacket, but it's put long sleeves. Alright. Let's see what's down here. I don't really... Don't give the Pathfinder uh, too much trouble. Oh, Roshan. Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus Superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. <laughs> That's funny. We like trouble here. No trouble is ideal. Uh, I guess I don't know what to say. Uh, I like the no trouble plan. How about we stick with that? <laughs> Cash said not too much trouble, kid. Not no trouble. The cat makes sure some trouble's always coming for you. That's not reassuring. Life out here ain't reassuring. You'll get used to it. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. How about you, sir? Where are your friends? The other Krogan. We found a place to plant our feet, make our own rules. Leaving the Nexus wasn't ideal, but we've managed. So why did you leave? Staying became impossible. Hmm. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Uh, I understand. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. All right. Oh, he's over here washing dishes. Who's in this room, though? Oh, it's bathroom. I can't go to the bathroom. Oh, I was about to say, guys. Oh, damn. This is one big ass bathroom. Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. Funny. Med Bay. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years in the Hyperion looking after your brother. Happy to have you, Dr. DePero. I'll do hmm. my best. Now, hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists 
not taking care of the Pathfinder. Huh. I guess that. Be in better hands. I just stabbed you. We all have off days. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here. Uh, what? <laughs> what? A cat corpse. But uh. autopsy. I'm, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you? I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. Mm -hmm. Interesting. This is anime and physics. and this with that. I had no idea. I'd love to hear more. Oh, what? Over dinner, maybe? Oh. oh. Um. That's not what I meant to click. I was just trying to What's end it. Oh well. I'm not a patient. I need to be able to look at you clinically without distractions. Am I distracting? Not nearly as much as you think you are. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan. Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats her vegetables. All right, freaking weird. What is this? Oh, this is pretty cool. Like it's the bottom of the base. <coughs> oh, hey, Pathfinder. Oh, Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Who's that? Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. <laughs> Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... <laughs> Hang up. So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation? I guess it beats a Nexus. I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. We need people with skills, and it sounds like you've got many. Welcome aboard. Yep, making deals to get the things you want, shooting at the things you don't. That's me. We all have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later. All right. I'm trying to figure out the ship. Wait, what's this room? Whoa. Lighting. Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an open couch. Plate. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? That sentence made sense. Someone brought this to Andromeda? It was new when we left. It's been a hard year. So, finally time for that beer? <laughs> and after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. The crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Oh, wait, what's us? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one? Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST-1, but Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, 
poor shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. Well, I know anything about that. I was just gonna say that. I wanted exploration to chase the cutting edge of Prothean research. I thought I'd found my calling. Seems like a long time ago. Six hundred years, give or take. Golly. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. I need Leela and I come like this. So love and science. Uh Hmm. I started in the Alliance, but it was the science that kept me going. And when that ended, well, if I wanted to be a part of the next big discovery, it had to be here. Oh, I don't hear idealist a lot. Everyone's cynical. Back at you, Costa. Why do you come? I want to say I'm running right. from my past, but really running for myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job. Nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. We could change direction. We can't go back, but we're not trapped by decisions a galaxy behind us. I don't feel trapped. We came from a good place for good reasons. But keep that in mind or steer us right, just like back in crisis response. Remember the essentials. A new start guided by the Pathfinder. And team. I'll bust my tail to make that a good story. Alright, cool. Like, this is his room. We're finding everyone's room and shit, so... Uh, yeah, let's go up here. Can I, can I activate this? No? I guess I could use the stairs, maybe? Or ladder. Oh, yeah, you gotta hold it. What kind of ladder climbing just animation is this? Alright. I'm guessing this is the engine. Can we now open this door? Weird. Engineering. Pathfinder making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Want to see how the riffraff are making out? Don't ask them. Hey, it's a dirty job. Are you the riffraff spokesman? King, actually. You might want to bow. Otherwise, no telling what might fall off the nomad when you're out there. I'll take my chances. Just want to see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, I gotta say, I was regretting joining the Initiative. I hmm. doubt you were the only one. Yes, but it's a new thing for me, regret. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and... Oops. I just made a decision there's no turning back from. <laughs> I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. Alright. We're exploring this cluster. Eventually, the galaxy. If your purpose is here... We'll find it. Then the question will be, what will I do with it? <laughs> In the meantime, you just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. Makes sense. Alright. Tempest. Engine room. But where... Can I get in this room? What's up with this door? Hello? Open sesame. Okay, this door is busted, brah. Oh, sweet. I'm guessing you can't go there, there. Wait, okay, I'm about to say. Mad Bay. Let's get the heck out of here.
What is this door? You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Hmm. Should I consider you a temporary addition? Everything's temporary, Ryder. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Hmm. You should try sleeping more. You crave excitement. You left everything and everyone you knew because you were bored? No. I came with someone I knew. Then she got bored with me. <laughs> Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Alright. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. Alright, escape pods right there. Alright. Oh, sweet. I guess this, this is where we can check all of our gear. Let's see what we got here, guys. Oh. Why not? I just put on everything. Alright, that's weird. I'm guessing this escape pod also. Alright. I guess this is basically just getting to know everybody. Scans of the scourge. <coughs> All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. Dark energy. Uh it's dangerous, and that's all I see. A mass of destructive, malevolent tentacles. I can appreciate the colors of a coral snake while recognizing that I wouldn't want to get close. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean a god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. I guess. Something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. Mm -hmm. I wasn't questioning your abilities. You never have to justify yourself to me. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that, truly. Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. All right, let's talk to the driver. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector. That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? 
I could stand here and drink in that view all day. When I was test piloting the ship back home, I often did. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. <laughs> That's cool. I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations, tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Salarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. What? So I suppose with the Salarian art missing, you hmm. might not get many chances to compare. There's ten. We'll find them. Wait. Did you hear anything about the Ark back on the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Salarians. Don't sweat it. We'll bring the Salarians home. Of course we will. I just have to be patient, that's all. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Alright guys, I guess this video was just talking to people. And uh, yeah. Okay.